but the basic concept of that is that science, technology, engineering, maths is important because it really does help you develop the skills, the soft skills that I talked about, particularly around agility and creative thinking and communication. Um, but we shouldn't get too fixated on, on those as the most important parts of the curriculum because you can just as much develop those skills of creativity and communication with an arts-based curriculum. Um, but if you're looking towards the world of work, then you do have to you know, be pragmatic about where these new careers are going to come from. And we know that you know, software development, cloud, data roles, artificial intelligence and, and data science analytics and security are going to be big growth areas. And therefore, you know, careers advisors would perhaps look at these careers, look at the criteria for entrance. What are universities looking for, for entrance to degree courses? What certifications um, and online courses, short learning programs can, can you look at to help you build your competencies in these areas? And these are the things that are driving the growth in jobs. And these are the things that are driving the growth in wages and salaries. You know, so there's a big difference between the old jobs like administrative jobs and uh, hands on engineering and driving buses or trains or cars. Um, when you, and, and when you set those against computing, you know, those the new kinds of, of careers, the amount of technology in healthcare now and sales and management, you know, with CRM systems and cloud based um, sales tools, you know, that's. It's going to be the source of new income and I would certainly be encouraging my young young children or grandchildren or learners if I was still teaching that they should think really hard about about the career that they aspire to you need to love what you're going to do and you need to have a passion for it but you also need to be real about intrinsic and extrinsic rewards and what's important to you and what the demand for jobs will be and unfortunately we are seeing rising graduate unemployment in many places around the world because young people are going into degrees and they're coming out and they're finding that those degrees are not valuable in the workplace which values other degrees more and that's unfortunate um, but it seems to be the way the world is going the country I live in South Africa has a huge challenge with that there are more, more, more social science graduates coming out than, than there are careers perhaps, but just not enough computing science and technology graduates.